Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Movie Social. On this episode, we're going to be talking about episode three of the Snowpiercer. In this episode, it's kind of an ironic moment, or because everything going on right now is kind of a reflection, in a way, of episode three. One of the biggest things that stood out was the Fight Club pitting class two and class three against each other and having, well, I'm not even going to just say class two versus class three. It was more so a man in class three for the mm-hmm. most part with a chance to get to class two if you win. Class two was there as well. But then it right broke out. And while first class, the rich just sat there and laughed and watched, two and three was just fighting it out. Well, he reminiscent of everything going on right now. And it's heartbreaking, everything that's happening, that it's 2020 and we're still stuck like this. Even on there. But I will say, The show has picked up a lot, especially seeing who the killers are, their organization, of cutting up these bodies. The ending really shocked me. and It left a nice cliffhanger. I really cannot wait to see what happens next. Next uh, episode is really going to tell us a lot. Mm. What do you think so far? Well... The episode three, it did, it did show a lot. Um, one of the things that I did notice, um, it is basically is is really class related. You know, obviously first class is the escargot, fine wine, and dining and all that stuff. And then the tail is literally the poor people or the people who they really don't care about. And it's a lot more corrupted than they thought. You know, people selling drugs and making fake drugs and the trading system. And it just shows that just because it's a class-based system doesn't mean that people aren't corrupted. Because there's a ton of people on that train that's corrupted, bad, evil, doing the wrong thing and so forth. So, uh, yeah, that, that that was like the politics part of this particular episode. It was... Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's really a really rough uh, ride on there. And then I believe at the end of it all, when they finally broke up the ride and everything, they made Class 3 walk all the way back and instead of taking that shuttle or whatever. It's crazy. Yeah. Mind you, there's over a thousand cars for that train. And Class 3 is typically further back quite a bit of cars that you got to walk through. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Um, I am yeah, they, that he did get to see the uh, kid in wow. there. And, yeah, Miles. I was about to say that too, yeah. And I'm, it's good that he's actually learning a lot more and he's really one of the smarter ones on there. So I got a feeling he will be playing a major role as the show goes on. Let me ask you a uh, question about something. I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like the rich, I'm not going to call her a girl, a kid, because she's not a kid. Probably in her early 20s, maybe late teens, maybe 18, 19, mm-hmm. 20, somewhere around there. Do you think she has anything to do with the first murder? Mm-hmm. I, think she's, I think they all have something to do with it. Do and the only reason you know something about it that they're trying to keep covered up. Yeah, the only reason why I asked you is because first of all, she immediately said, "Oh, she's innocent." It's one of the things. She said. And then at the end, her bodyguard, um, whoever he is, I'm assuming that he's a bodyguard, um, killed those two people and went to go talk to her, and then turned the light off and then it went off. So you don't know. That basically it was Clifford. You don't know what happened to her, but you can imply whatever happened to her. So mm-hmm. that's why I kind of feel like she has something to do with it or she knows something. Um, so, I mean, yeah, that, that's what my whole process on it. Yeah, I mean, 
it's really going to come down to, for me to see who really pulled the trigger. Well, figurative trigger on getting these people killed. I'm still waiting to see the full motive of everything. But it's going to be interesting. First class is definitely up to something. I agree. I really do feel like first class is up to something. Um, I have another, like, not another idea, but, like, the whole Mr. Wilford idea, like, the person. Mm-hmm. Like, what, what I'm trying to figure out is a few things. The one guy, the cop, said that he actually shook Mr. Wilford's hand before, or whatever the case may be, before he got on the train. But it's just like, well, was he a guy, an actual person, and then he died or something happened? Or was he never there to begin with? Like, there's also more like, storytelling with that, because if someone says, oh, yeah, I shook Mr. Wilford's hand, and we know that there really isn't a Mr. Wilford, it's just a name at this point. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make up. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. If there really was a Mr. Wilford, well, what happened to him? Yeah, I mean, that's a good uh, question, too. Something hopefully we'll be getting an answered soon. But there's also the possibility that she dressed up, hiding her, who she was, pretending to be a man during that time. Possibility. She, did she had somebody standing and pretending to be Mr. Wilford to keep the position going? I mean, we got to wait to see. I mean, she did have a she did have a, a little voice voice modulator Joan going on for recording, so she she knows what she's doing. Like that, that's definitely a, a, a given. She knows what, exactly what she's doing. And the other thing I'm wondering if there was a Mister Warford, was that her dad? It's another good observation there. Um, something else that I did that brought to my attention was when the girl was in the hospital bed. Mm-hmm. And her- was black or whatever, was she peeling her skin or was it just me? Uh, she literally was digging in it. I don't know what she was digging for or what, but she was literally in her arm digging. Yeah, it, made, it, it looked real rubbery. That's why I was confused. Mm-hmm. I was like, I don't know. That's kind of a little odd there, but the funny part yeah. the funny part about this episode is it all Began and end ended with the key. Mm-hmm. That's the first thing you see at the beginning, and that's the last thing you see at the end. Just brought the whole thing full circle, which is pretty dope. Oh yeah. yeah. Hopefully soon we'll find out more about everything going on with the show. Find out more information and they dig deeper into it. But you guys should check it out. Let us know what you guys thought in the comments. And then as always, like us and subscribe and turn on your notifications.